They are absolutely rattled still today, Tanya, and police say they do have someone in custody, but charges have not been filed yet. We are also still waiting for the victim to be officially identified by the medical examiner. Meanwhile, the motive in this horrific murder remains unclear. Early this morning, police continued to remove bags of evidence from this far north side home. Some forensic technicians dressed in protective suits came and went for hours. This after authorities say they found the human remains of a woman's body in a freezer there. Some neighbors are still in shock this morning. It's really devastating. Like, I even had a hard time coming home last night. I stayed at my friend's house. I felt safer with his parents and stuff. On Monday, a tenant called police to do a well-being check on the landlord at the home, who hadn't been seen in a day. When the police arrived, that individual told the police that there was a, another suspect who lived in the residence that the other tenants were afraid of. The tenant also told police that the other tenant had recently called a tow truck and carried out a heavy bag. The tow truck driver actually gave us his location and explained that the person he was transporting had pulled a knife on him. So officers responded to that scene, placed that suspect into custody. That led police to Foster Beach, where they say the suspect dumped a large plastic bag and bloody rags into a garbage can. Authorities then made the grisly discovery in a freezer inside this white home on Washtenaw, just off of Peterson. Neighbors tell Eyewitness News that the victim lived here and rented out rooms at the property for women seeking shelter. It was really like heartbreaking hearing like what happened. You know, she was such a sweetheart. I feel like she was very active in the neighborhood. She was too kind. That's all I can say. She was very kind, loving. She was always happy. Now, many neighbors here tell us that the victim was well liked in the neighborhood. She also played piano for neighborhood churches. Again, we are still waiting to hear about charges in this horrific case.